okay now I am I have successfully logged in and this is how the interface looks like when you log in so you have from the extreme left corner top the profile sign VPAR then you have on the session my biz um, as in short my business then you have CRM as a customer relations management then you have your stores there are other options that can help you build your store then you have others posts and integration so these are all things oh but today we're just focusing on how to be build our business profile and we get that information under my bees so building a business profile is key I, I everyone knows that because your profile tells your customers what your business entails and what you do and what you don't do the industry you belong to or what are you so it gives the customers an uh, immediate insights on to know what you offer and they easily make their choices based on the information you provide on your business profile so let's get started and look at so we tap on what we call the info so when you tap on info you have this um, uh, info dialog box it's about your business and even though I have already loaded some few things but I'll see demonstrators for us to know so if let's assume that we don't have a profile I'll remove this I don't have a profile I'll remove this so you have the interface this way so you just tap on the plus sign to load your profile image so you tap on this then it is um, settled then you tap on it to load then that's good so the next thing is for you to look at your cover image so your cover image I have my cover image already I choose my cover image then when I'm done I just tip on the correct sign for it to be load uploaded and the next thing is business name my business name is Yasin Techno I tap it in then the next option is about your business which they say it is optional but to me it is very important as a marketer it is not this is an option optional thing but is a very important key to the marketer because the customer need this information to make choices the customer needs this information they don't want to waste so much time so just glancing through your business profile this can just give them an insight on what they want and whether you have it or not so that they move to the other um, business uh, businesses so that's what you need to know so you come to business profile tell them what you do like I'm, I, I wrote and we are into general trading graphic design sales and installation of security systems like CCTV fence car tracking what have you we have indicated this as um, what we do okay then the next thing is about your business page language so there are about nine languages that this supports there are about eight or nine languages that is support so you can decide which language you understand best you choose English language which is what we understand mm -hmm. then the next one has to do with the address which they also see is optional but address is key because it gives the customer an insight about where you are located if they want to walk to your shop house number five duplex street adenta commandos opposite kit with garden adenta then let's look at which country are we located then we look at the country then you tap on the below you select your country we are ghana then we tap on ghana when you are done with this option then you tap on save good as soon as you tap on save your business your business profile has successfully been updated with all the information that we just entered folks and there are other key ingredients that um, makes the profile complete now we're looking at the next option there which is numbers um, when you provide your business uh, information I think these are all parts of the profiling so there's a need for us to put in our numbers that people that is the whatsapp number that customers will shop and directly have access to you so we tap on the whatsapp image so when you tap on the whatsapp image it gives you the opportunity what is your whatsapp number first of all you choose your country code when you tap on it you choose on your country code when you tap on next then you have what we call 233 when you tap here you have Ghana whatever country you tap on it so Ghana is 233 then what is your whatsapp number I tap on it and I enter my whatsapp number so after entering my whatsapp number then uh, what is left for me is to save the number but below it there's an information I want you guys to read it says turn off if you want to disable this number on your business page you turn it off if you want to disable turn it off so 
if you want to disable so that is what that is the option if you want you don't want to disable then you turn it on but after this information you just tap on what save you tap on save so now my um whatsapp has been updated with a number now the next option is okay so now we are looking at our social links whether you you are you you are on facebook you are on instagram you are on whatsapp you are on tiktok and what have you you can add as you can see okay so to add any of your social links you have the plus sign below here we have the plus sign below you just tap on the plus sign so when you tap on the plus sign you have the opportunity to choose what platform what social platform are you trying to bring on okay if it is on whatsapp you select if it's a snapchat you select if it's a facebook you select whatever it is that social platform that you have you can look from the option then you choose the social platform so when you choose the social platform let's say if i'm adding my youtube so if i, if I select youtube the next option is going to be for me to paste my youtube option to paste my youtube link you have to paste my youtube link here as an uh, as the option so i remember i have my youtube link shared to a friend i'll just quickly copy my youtube link from here as an option just tap on it copy then i come back to this point and i paste my youtube link video link so when you do that the next thing that you need to do after posting in your youtube is to return when you are when you return back then you tap on what creates when you tap on create you wait for it then your youtube link will be created and added so that is the same way you do with your TikTok, your facebook and your whatsapp just copy your links and keep keep adding them and adding them so that is how we do that then let's return back to the next one is called links the next one is called links so when you tap on links you realize that we are told that there are there are no links added to this this could also serve as either a social link or whatever a video link so when you tap on this business they'll tell you well, what is the title title then you add in the title and what have you then you share the link so in this case we are not sharing any url or describing whatever maybe you are you are sharing a, a, a link for a product you just name the, the the name of the product as maybe let's say training then the training if it's on youtube you place the url of the youtube here then you now share the description of that particular thing that you have shared you de you describe or maybe step by step a way of how to do one or two things then what you do then you create the link then the link will be there for customers to easily access but in this case we are not creating any link so the next one is domain so you tap on domain here to look at so domain here will have to do with your your business the link that you are going to share with business the link that you are going to share online that is what it is no so you have what we call your own domain which is recommended that is what they say your own domain which is recommended it means that when you tap on this when you tap on this option use your own domain to make your beast page and what store live then the next one is what don't have a domain yet you can make your beast page and store live with our domain so now if you don't have a domain to do that you can easily use your business name along with what what's.biz but if you have a domain name you use your own domain as in website where people can easily go and do so when you type on your own domain you will see the address of the what the subdomain yasin techno 08g40 then dot what what's.dz so this is going to be the domain which is going to be shared to people that people can click on it and directly it will bring them to the 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 business the e-commerce website so when you are done with this then you tap on what save then we are saved successfully then if at this stage after doing this it means that we have covered everything about 
the business we have covered everything about the business so any information regarding to our business profiling have been successfully done and at this stage it means that you have covered every information on your business and i thank you for watching up to this far so our next lesson we are going to actually be looking at how to create a store we are going to look at how to create a store and add products to the store i thank you for watching